So for our MENG project, we created a teaching tool uh, for students in crossing to courses between neurobiology and electrical engineering. Uh, essentially, we wanted students to be able to come into lab, play with a model of a cardiac cell, so be able to change the concentrations and conductances across uh, sodium, potassium, and calcium uh, ion channels, uh, be able to look at the voltages and currents, both on a screen as well as the oscilloscope, and learn about stuff like cardiac arrhythmia, cardiac arrest, and just general cardiac physiology. So, a bit of the background, uh, all excitable cells can be modeled as a simple RC circuit where ion channels for sodium, potassium, and calcium uh, can be treated as variable conductances and the cellular membrane can be treated as a capacitance. In our case, we decided to use the reduced pre-Buckelman model, which reduced a complex series of differential equations to a simplified set that we could implement on our embedded system to be biologically accurate. Yep, just a quick demo. Pan over here. Uh, so this is our board. You can see this first screen has a sodium, potassium, and calcium concentrations and conductances. I can change it with this little slider right here. Um, we're going to go down to the next screen. You can choose the current that you'd like to display. You can choose what you'd like to see on the oscilloscope. So we're just going to put voltage. And then you can run the simulation. A quick like lab direction sort of screen. Uh, and then finally you see these, these beautiful little waveforms both on the TFT screen as well as the oscilloscope. And actually on the TFT screen, you can pause it and you can use these little cursors to look at the voltage, the time, the current, as well as the difference between the two cursors. And that's pretty much it.